Leos! Subscribe! What up, players? Why not stay up in this mood? Today I'm going to be teaching you a really short and sweet war boss tutorial on how I paint my dark Eldar skin. You can also use this for dark elves or any kind of alien, non-human creature that you want to have this cold skin, or cool, I should say, cool skin tone to it. So what I mean by cool is that it uses blue as the shading color as opposed to a warm model. Let's see if we can get a warm colored model. My Empire Warrior Priest, which uses some reds and browns to shade. So it just looks warmer, looks like he's got proper blood circulation, even though he's all scarred up. That is a example of a warm skin tone, and these are example of these are examples of cool skin tones. So I'm gonna teach you how I do my dark Eldar skin. The paints you'll need for these are Citadel Foundation Deneb Stone and Citadel Wash a Sermon Blue. So I've got my Dark Eldar model here that I'm going to use, and I'm going to paint her face with Deneb Stone. You want to do this with thin down paint, so especially especially because foundation paint is so thick already, and details on skin are really easy to gunk up if you put too much paint on. So you want to use thin coats and get nice smooth even coverage and don't just slap it on in one coat go for multiple coats if you need to so that's what i'm gonna do and i'll be right back when that's all right now that we've got some light on her this is about how your paint job should look I went over in three really thin coats because the first time I went over you could still see the primer, the black underneath because when you thin down the paint with, you know, paint retardant or, or water or paint thinner, it makes the paint spread and the pigments spread out and pool in the, in the recesses and not on the, on the main surface area. So I went over a couple more times. Just, just for this example, I'm using water, but a lot of people use paint retardant or, or water or various other products to keep their paint moist. But since this is just one war boss tutorial and I'm not doing a whole squad, I thought, well, you know what, water is fine. And don't be afraid of getting it into the eye socket because we're going to fix all that in a little while. And don't, be af don't worry. Don't be afraid of painting outside the lines. Like you can see, I got some denim stone on her neck, neck guard, the turtleneck part of her bodysuit. So don't worry about that. Just make sure all the skin area is covered. Next, we're gonna use our a sermon blue wash. This you don't want to go on too heavy, but you do want to cover the entire surface. So we'll see when that's done. So there, as you can see, the Assyrian Blue nicely pools into all the dark corners and recesses, giving it really nice looking shading, and it'll let you see really, oh, I didn't need to paint Deneb Stone there, that should be hair, or that mistake gets covered up. Like, look at the, the neck part where the face meets the neck guard of her bodysuit. The Assyrian Blue just naturally filled in those mistakes and of course I can go over it again with a little bit of chaos black just to get all of that Deneb stone mistake out of there or like in the hair it'll tell you where you're supposed to paint the skin part and which is what part of it is hair so it's well, I love wash it just spreads so well and gets into all the right recesses for all the contours and definition. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let our wash wait and then we're gonna paint back up with a little bit of Deneb Stone 
but this time we're only going to hit the parts of the model that are naturally hit by lighting. Okay, so we'll see you when that's done. Alright, as you can see I painted in the hair as well as doing the Deneb Stone highlights just so that I could be clear on where the separation between the hair and the face was. So I painted up some thin Deneb Stone but you could still see that cooler Assurman Blue as well. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to paint in the eye. So you just want to do a horizontal line really thin with your finest detail brush on her eye in Chaos Black. And then again right in the middle of that with Skull White. And then do a vertical slash in the middle of that with Chaos Black again to make the pupils. Okay, see you when that's done. Alright, so as you can see the eye has been painted in. And she looks very cold and calculating and arrogant, which is just what we want. So that's it. Just two real colors for the skin, Deneb Stone and a Sermon Blue. And then just black, white, and then a little slash of black for the eye. And you can paint the hair any color you want. I went with red, which is the studio color scheme. And if you want to give your dark Eldar women some lipstick, then I would suggest you don't go with a red color, either go with a blue or a purple. The Assurman Blue did a great job of shading in this girl's lips already so that she doesn't really need it, but if you do, just paint the lower lip if you want to do that, because if you paint the top lip, it'll make it look like she's making really big kissy lips at you like a fish, and that's not what you want. That's not going to be scary at all. So. I'm just gonna leave her like this as is, then get on to the rest of her model. But for the purposes of this video, this was just a little War Boss tutorial on how to paint effective Dark Eldar skin using only two GW colors. Okay, we'll see you in the next one.